I am Anil Kumar and here is a test question on pattern rules for blocks for you. The question here is, draw two sets of diagrams for each algebraic expression. So algebraic expression we are given here is 2n plus 4 and describe both the patterns. So basically we need to draw two different looking patterns but for the same rule, right? So the rule for us is 2n plus 4. So let's sketch first one pattern. Let's say that is our pattern number one, and then we have figure number two, and then we have figure number three. So these values are the values for n for us. So if n is one, how many blocks do I expect? I expect two times one plus four, right? Which indeed is six. If n, n is two, I expect two times two plus four, which is 4 plus 4 as 8 and if there are th third pattern it is 2 times 3 plus 4 6 plus 4 10 blocks I need to make the third rule so those are the total number of blocks required now from the given equation what I think is 4 is fixed so let me just fix 4 right so we'll have a block of 4 which is kind of fixed for me so let us say this is my block of 4 which is fixed. So I'm just fixing this block of 4 here. For all the three patterns, in fact, it is going to be that fixed block for each and every pattern to follow in the sequence, correct? So that is that is 4 fixed. Okay. Now it says 2n. So in every, in the first one, we need to have two more, right? So what I can do here is I can add one here, right, one here, and one here. So, so that gives me two in the first one, correct? You can see there are six in number. You get the idea? In here, I need four fixed, two times two. So two times two means I can have two on each side. You get the idea? Two here and two here. So I get two times and two times two. 2 times 3 means I need to put 3 blocks here, correct? So I'll put 3 blocks here. So that is to say 1, 2, and 3, correct? So that becomes a diagram which represents the algebraic expression. So we have done one part, correct? Now it says that you should make this in, in different ways, right? So how could I make it in in different ways that is the trick so what we will do this time is we'll kind of keep something else fixed so I'll keep these two fixed this time do you understand and change the upper part so I could draw also the same pattern as kind of like this see this I'm keeping not two fixed so that is to say I'm keeping the middle part fixed which you can see kind of this do you understand so I'm keeping this middle part fixed. So these are the tricks I'm sharing with you. And what I'm going to change this time is the top part. So instead of one more, this time I can have two more. Do you see that? So I still have same number of blocks. But the pattern looks different, right? So there could be a different rule. That's the whole idea. So we can have a different rule, but a, but giving us the same number of blocks right so that is the exercise which we are really working on correct so don't you find it very interesting it is indeed extremely interesting and very creative right so that is how you can make so once you make like this you can write a new equation for this and that is your 2 is fixed so I'll write 2 fixed and how many changes well, there are two sets of, uh, well, n is 1, n plus 1. So it is 2 times n plus 1. So that is how it has become a new thing for us, correct? So another way of doing this is kind of rearranging the formula. So when we have 2n plus 4, look here, 2n plus 4, I could write this as 2n plus 2 plus 2. Do you see that? So, so that is what I've done. So I've changed this part to n plus 2 and fixed that part, right? So 2n plus 2, I'm writing this as 2 times n plus 1 plus 2. So that is how I get my same equation. 
I hope you understand and appreciate it, right? So go through it once again, try to see how for the same algebraic expression at times we can make different looking blocks, but they're exactly same number of blocks in each section. Do you see that? I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.